Welcome to this Tobacco University video. Here I'm going to go over the cut and stick method of cannabis cloning and hopefully some tips and tricks to make sure if you're trying this method, you are successful at it. All right, let's get into the cut and stick method for cannabis cloning. Well, first off, we want to make sure we have the necessary materials uh, to be successful. So uh, with cloning or vegetative propagation in general, healthy mother or stock plant is important regardless of what method we're using, definitely for this method as well. We want to have a growing substrate, we want to have a rooting hormone, method of labeling and documentation in a favorable propagation environment. So that growing substrate can be variable. Some people will choose oasis, some people choose root riot, some people choose rock wool, some people choose sand, some people choose soilless media, all of those can work. Rooting hormone, so the example here of Clonex, there's many other different types of rooting hormone, all of them tend to fall into the category of the plant hormone auxin. And then a proper method of labeling and documentation. So here we see the labels, labeling the clones. We also want to have a backup for that. No excuse to be taking clones and forget which one was which. Have redundancies within your system. And also a favorable propagation uh, environment to encourage those clones that are going through a stressful time to go through and root well so they can be transferred to the next step. Now, what does the environment look like? Well, here's just some examples here of getting into what the kind of environment you should be shooting for or aiming for, your targets. So first off, your temperature, 78 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 to 28 degrees Celsius. Moisture level around 90% relative humidity, at least uh, to start. And you want to be decreasing that as the uh, clones are progressing. And then light levels, 200 to 350 um, par reading approximately. Uh, diffused light is fine because they are going through kind of that stress. Typically, I do not recommend cutting the leaf tips. I like to remain and keep the leaf tips there. It actually can help increase the odds of your rooting success. Another video on that on this channel. Uh, but here we can see just the general conditions. Now for 90%, how do you know you're approaching 90%? Well, if you're using a humidity dome, there should be moisture on that dome. Now that substrate that I had mentioned, you want to take the cutting that's about 6 to 10 inches long. You can go shorter, uh, but that's a good kind of healthy clone, especially if you're starting out. Then you want to apply a rooting hormone, and then you literally stick it into the media. That's where this gets its name, the cut and the stick method. Now I said that humidity dome, you could use a large humidity dome over an entire tray, or you could simply invert a clear cup here uh, to increase the humidity around that clone particularly on the early on uh, portion of the rooting process. So hopefully this, if you're looking at uh, propagating cannabis clones vegetatively with this cut and stick method, hopefully this provides you with some basic information to increase your odds of success.